Hi, this is a brief introduction into the FANUC Turnmate I control system. The system is very simple. When you switch it on, this is the screen you will get. You can set a speed and save it. You can set a feed rate and save it. If you then don't put this data into a cycle, it will default to this. So let's use a simple cycle. Simple turning. Outside turning. So it's asking us where we're going to finish the bottom inside corner. So if we say 20 mil and Z zero, X2 the outside diameter at 25 mil and Z2 minus 20 mil with a depth of cut of 3 mil and save this, this cycle will run. If we then look at another cycle, we have a choice of simple turning that we just did, radiusing, screw cutting, uh, taper turning, facing, grooving, a simple profiling or a more complicated profiling. We also have the ability to add G-codes into a cycle and thread cutting relief. This is an introduction into the profiling cycle on the FANUC Turnmate I system. As you can see, touch screen and you can select the cycle you require. It's asking us for a depth of cut first, so we'll put this in. Then if we click on here, we can do the drawing. So, if we start with X at zero and Z at zero, then we're gonna put a radius coming off to X 20, Z minus 10 and a radius of 10. This will then draw the radius. If we then take a straight line off this, 20 mil in X, Z minus 30 mil, it will draw the line. Then to close the profile off, we can bring the diameter out to 30 mil, Z at minus 30, and it will draw the line. We now go back, we can now save this into a cycle. As we've not given it a tool, feed or a speed, it will take the default settings that are already there. If we press go, the machine will then turn this profile, showing how quick the Termate I system is to program. Now we're going to show you how simple screw cutting is to use on the FANUC Termate I. Press the cycle button, press the screw cutting button, external screw cutting, and we've got some questions to fill in. So, XS is where we're going to start our diameter. So, 20 mil is our start diameter. ZS, where we're going to start. So, we're going to start one mil clear in front because that's a good thing to do. XE would be different from XS if we want to put a taper in. So we're not going to put a taper in, so that remains at 20 mil. ZE is then the finish. So if we go to minus 20 mil, we'll get a 20 mil long depth of thread. For this demonstration, we'll just put one mil height of cut and one mil pitch, and we'll put a depth of cut in of 0.2 input, and we can then save this cycle and run it. on from our last video, within each of the cycles we can add further information. The direction of cut, whether we're roughing and finishing, the finishing amount, and also if we want to add one, the tool change position. If we don't add a tool change position, it will tool change in the position it has started from, making it again very quick to set. On the next tab we can select a tool, we can give it a feed rate if we don't want the one that's on the front screen, we can operate constant servicing, giving it 180 meters a minute, 
with a spindle maximum speed of 1000 a normal direction the machine hasn't got a gearbox so it doesn't need to know and it will take that data and we can run the profile now we're going to show you on the Fanuc Turnmate I how to put cycles together to make a program if we scroll across here we see this symbol we press on it and we have program 1 is empty so we press on this symbol here we can then add cycles cycle 35 which is a straight turning cycle and cycle 36 that is a screw cutting cycle we can also give it a tool change position if required and different from where it is so if we press this it will put its current machine position in then we go to the top of the cycle press go and the program will run as you can see it will do the turning cycle first and then it will change tool and go on to the threading cycle This is now the threading part of the cycle. This is an introduction into tool setting on the Fanuc Turnmate I system. As you can see, when the machine is turned on, it will come up with Tool 0, which can be used as a DRO for an any tool function by setting here. But we're going to set some tools. So if we click on here and then we choose tool 1, it will select tool 1. We can then go into the setting page and into the setting tab. We can then set X to a 20mm diameter, input, and save it. If we then go back to the front page, you'll see that X is now at 20mm go back into the tool, setting, and we go to Z and we set Z at 2, input and save it, come back to our front page, our tool is set in that position. If we then want to set tool 2, we select tool 2, setting, we go and turn the diameter of tool 2, which shall we say is at 22mm, 2mm and then Z at 0 we then need to do Z 0 save it again we've now set the offset position of tool 2 and so on when we select tool 2 you'll see we're in tool 2 position tool 3 Select it, go to the turning page, we're going to skim the diameter and we're going to say this is at 30mm, input, save it, Z, 10mm, input, save it. This will then give us the position of tool 3 and so on.